Hey guys, I'm Rasim from RossimerTech.com, and today's tutorial is on variables. What's a variable? A variable is a nickname you give an object so that you can refer to it, you can ask it questions, then later on you can retrieve its data. Now, Dart is an object-oriented programming language. What that means is everything is an object. So, now I'm going to open up a program with a variable in it to kind of give you guys an idea of what a variable does. Now, I'm going to copy and paste this in the bottom of the video description so you guys can copy it and paste it onto your editor so you can test it out. Now, as you can see here, the first part of the program, you have these two parentheses, or I'm sorry, two forward slashes. What this does is uh, it lets the program know that uh, this is a note. Anything following this on this line is considered to be a note. Now, the reason why it's good to uh, leave ourselves notes in programs is just in case another programmer wants to work on your program, he'll know where you left off, and he won't be confused about anything. And it's a good way to uh, for your for your own use. You know, if you go for you to go back in your program, and so you so you know exactly what you did. Now, underneath that, you're gonna see this main method. Now, like Java and C++, we we have to uh, have this main method at the beginning of the program. It just lets the compiler know where the program starts. And we have these open braces and closed braces, just like C++ and Java. And in between them is the method body. Now, here you have VAR, which lets us declare that this thing here is a, a variable, and we named the variable number. You can name it whatever you want. and. Uh, we give the value to this variable number of 42, as you can see. Now, underneath that is this print method. And in the parentheses of the print method, we have our variable, which is number. So what this is going to do when the program starts, it's going to print our variable, which uh, and the value of the variable is 42. So it should print 42. So let's test it out. I'm going to hit run up here. Then I'm going to press OK. As you can see down here, it printed out 42. So, now, another thing. Let's say you don't uh, give your uh, variable a value. Let's say your variable has no value. So I'm going to delete the 42 here. Now, by default, the, the variable value should be null if there's no value at all. So I'm going to start the program again, and I'm going to test it out. Just As you can see, it printed out null. So if uh, if you don't give a variable a value, by default, the variable value will be null. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to declare another variable in this program. I'm going to type in var. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to name it, uh, let's call it blue. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give the var variable a value. I'm going to press space equals space again then I'm gonna give it the value of with a single quotation and in that single quotation I'm gonna call it uh, let's say hat so what I did was I declared a variable blue and I gave it the value of, of, a, of a string hat now, a string meaning it's a non-numerical value, so it has to be in a uh, either double parentheses or single parentheses. Now, I'm gonna also going to print, I'm going to add another print method under this. I'm going to type in print, the open parentheses, and in it I'm going to type in the variable blue. And make sure there's a close parentheses. And then make sure you, after every statement you make, you have to have a semicolon at the end, at the end of it. So I'm gonna just type the semicolon. Now I'm gonna press uh, the run button just to see what this does. I'm gonna hit OK. As you can see, I got an error message because I forgot here to put a semicolon. Like I said, after every statement, there should be a semicolon. So I'm going to put a semicolon. I'll make sure it's next to... Okay, so after every statement, there should be a semicolon. Now I'm going to, I'm going to press Run again. I'm going to hit OK. 
Now, it printed out the first value, they printed out the first variable, which is number, which had no value. And it also underneath that printed out the second variable, which I called blue. And I gave it a value of the string hat. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, and if it was helpful, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments you want to leave me, just leave me a comment. I'm Rasim from RossMertSec.com, and thanks for watching.